In this demo, we're just going to take a look at doing a very basic model of a pencil. And in doing so, we're going to look at how to make a uh, regular polygon in addition to how to use the revolved cut feature in order to sharpen the pencil. So the first thing to do is to extrude out the pencil body. So we'll start on the front plane here, start a new sketch. And basically what I want is a uh, six-sided regular polygon. Now there's no tool up here in the sketch tools for doing that, so we're going to have to do it using the, um, the circular pattern sketch tool. This is just like the circular pattern feature that can be used to pattern solid bodies and features, but this is being done in the, in the context of a sketch where what we're patterning, patterning are lines in the sketch itself. So to start, I'm going to draw a center line down from the center of where we want our polygon to be. And then I'm going to draw one of the edges with the line tool. And I'm going to add a relation here where this line and this point have a midpoint relation. So that's going to make this symmetrical. Okay. I'll drag it out a bit. Now I'm going to use the circular pattern sketch tool. So I'll go to Insert, I'm sorry, Tools, uh, Sketch Tools, Circular Pattern. I'm going to select the center, which is my origin here. And the entities to pattern is going to be this, this edge here. So it defaults to, to four, four copies. I want to increase that to six. Okay. Click OK. So I've now got uh, th this, this one edge that I drew is now copied. Um, so that there are six of them total. Now what I need to do is just join two of these edges. I'll use a merge for that. And now all of the edges are touching one another. Uh, the last thing I'll do is just make sure that it's uh, centered where the origin is. So I'm going to select this point here and the origin and I'm going to add a horizontal relation so that these two are horizontally uh, on the same at the same uh, Y value. And now I can make my polygon larger and smaller and it stays in place. Uh, the last thing I'll do is I'll add a place for the pencil lead right in the middle there. Circle. Okay, so now I've got this profile and I can extrude it out. So I'm just going to do this by sight. That's probably about the right length. Okay, so there's my pencil extrusion. Now it's hollow because uh, I, had, I had given it a hollow profile. Let's go make the lead now. So I'll go back to the, the back end of it. I'll, I can either click on this face or just click on the front plane. They're the same, same plane. I'll start another sketch. And here I'm going to use uh, convert entities to get the profile I want. The profile is defined by the cutout that I left for the lead, so I'm just going to select this edge again, select Convert Entities, and what it's, what's happened is that edge is being converted into a circle on my new sketch. That's all I need, so I'll exit this sketch, and now I'm going to extrude out that circle to be the lead of the pencil. And now I could, use the, I, I could just use the same uh, distance here in a blind extrusion, but it probably makes more sense to do the up to surface end condition and click the other side of the pencil. So now the lead is going to be extruded out exactly, exactly the same length as the pencil body, even if the pencil body's length were to change. Finally, I'm going to uncheck merge result because I want the pencil lead to be a different body than the, 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 what the wood that's encasing it. Okay. So to make this a little easier to see, I'm going to go up to my solid bodies here. I'll just rename this to lead. And I'll rename the first one to wood. Let's add a color here. So right click on it, appearance, color. Click on black there. And then the wood. Let's give that a, uh, a brown or a yellow or color. Uh, maybe something like this. That's fine for now. Okay, so now we need to sharpen the pencil. And we'll do that using a revolved cut. And what you, how you, the way you think about this is we're going we're gonna to sharpen this pencil just like a normal s pencil sharpener would by basically rotating a blade around the pencil and cutting away material. So I'm going to get a side view. 
Let's look at this side, actually. And I'm going to do a sketch on my right plane, which goes right through the middle of the pencil there. Okay. So I'll start another sketch here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line, just like... I'm not going to go all the way down to this point, but I'm going to draw a line like this. And I'm actually going to go beyond the, the top here. And then I need to close this profile up. So I'll do this. Okay. And uh, I need to know what, what this profile will be rotated around, which basically needs to be the center axis. So I'll select this edge, convert entities. And then I'm going to change that into construction geometry, because it's not actually part of my profile. I just I need it there as a guide. So I'm going to click on my construction geometry toggle. Okay. So now I've got, it's not going away. Right. Now I've got a profile that'll be rotated around the center line. So I'll exit this sketch, and I'm going to insert an, a revolved cut feature. So we'll do this. The center line, the axis of rotation, is this center line here that's part of the sketch. This profile will be rotated around. Click OK. And we have cut away that part of the pencil just like a normal pencil sharpener would have. As a finishing touch here, let me just, uh, usually pencils, once you start using them, uh, kind of get a, a chisel shape. So let's do that. Um, the right plane here. Uh, maybe something like this. See, I was sketching with this pencil and was using it in this orientation. It might be cut away like this, so I'll do our extruded cut. I'm going to cut away the opposite side, something like that. Then if we wanted to be really picky, I suppose I could fill at that edge. Okay. It's hard to see because it's black. And then, uh, just for the sake of completeness, let's, uh, let's turn the outside of the pencil yellow. Um, so to make this easier, I'm going to use my selection filter to only allow me to select faces. So I'm going to select this face, hold down control, this face, control, 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 control. I'm going to select appearance, color. Let's get a yellow there. Turn my selection filter off. And we've got our yellow pencil.